Hi, welcome back to the Organic Gardening, Homesteading, and Woodworking channel. This time we'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the issues we've had uh, with a couple of people that have been following our starting soil recipe for seed starting. One of our subscribers contacted us and said, you know, we had a poor germination rate, I think zero out of 80 seeds to germinate. So we looked at the photos that they sent us and, and it became apparent that they're losing a bit of humidity uh, through the way they had their germination set up. And so they had a large crack, and I'll show you here, between the dome, you can see the dome here, uh, and the tray. So there's this large ventilation space because their dome is sitting on their three and a half inch pot edges on the rims. So you have a lot of space here, right here, where all your humidity in your system is just escaping out of the system. So you have your pots, they're being heated by the heat mat, and they're losing uh, humidity, moisture off the top of the pots. And you're also losing about the bottom of the pots. And if with your heating source underneath, you're just making steam vapor, if you will, that comes out high humidity air that will just ventilate out these cracks all the way around this. And you'll lose moisture out of your entire germination setup. And so when that happens, you're gonna have premature uh, drying soil and you're not keeping it contained through the germination phase. So that's one of the issues that we saw with the way he had it set up. Another issue is uh, possibly a bad batch of coconut coir. We've had that happen before. Can you explain? Uh, if you use coconut coir that's not triple washed, you'll have too much salt in it, and uh, that'll certainly hinder your germination. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get the triple washed coconut coir Mm -hmm. uh, for this project. You don't want any of the cheap stuff that's not been triple washed. That's the reason why they wash it, because it's salty. Yeah. So uh, this person had not used coconut coir before, and then seeing the issues they had with all of the new starts that they were trying to do with the new seed mix, they had pretty much a, <laughs> a near disaster. I mean, it was a disaster as far as germination goes. Yeah. Um, that was one ingredient that was changed. So I would question how good of a coconut coir um, source that they had. His coconut coir said it was low salt. It didn't say triple washed or anything, so it kind of gives a little red flag that maybe it really wasn't triple washed, but maybe it just didn't have as much salt as maybe some other uh, mm -hmm. brand might have had. So mm -hmm. just gotta just really make sure that you use triple washed. Yeah, so we want all of you to have the most success possible getting your seeds germinated to have a successful gardening season. If you do have issues, please let us know, like this other subscriber, and we'll see if we can help you get your issues sorted out. It helps all of us, and what we find, we will make a video kind of like this, and let the rest of you know so everybody's better informed and can have better success with their gardening setup. So, anyway, if you like this video, leave us a comment down in the section below. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and remember, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 